Hey guys, it's MJH here, and I've got like a, um, well actually I guess it's just a video, that's, I'm just going to talk about lots of different things, and it's going to be nothing to do with the gameplay, this is, I mean obviously the gameplay is Killzone 2, but that's just in the background, so uh, obviously you, you're able to watch it, but I'd rather you concentrate on what I say. Um, I've got quite a lot of things to get through, so I'm going to be as quick as possible. Uh, I just watched the E3 live show, uh, when I upload this it'll probably, uh, probably, almost be finished. It lasts a couple of days, I think, various games each day. But I watched the Black Ops one, and there's a few things that you might not have, uh, that you might not know, or those of you who haven't even seen it yet, uh, I can tell you what I've seen. So first of all, there was a Magnum with a flashlight, so I'm guessing that's indicating there's going to be, um, well, dark missions in the campaign, and possibly dark, mis uh, dark maps online. Uh, I saw a weapon that looks kind of like the F2000 slash M4 and unfortunately I'm going to have to say this guys it had a grenade launcher on it you know that that's a scary thing for me because the only the one thing I really don't want in Black Ops is grenade launchers but it, it's looking like there will be um, the, the clip was very short and those two things were in the first clip and you know the graphics were stunning the way uh, you shoot was very Treyarch you know it didn't look anything like Modern Warfare 2 it looked really good and um, the second clip they shown, or they showed, was um, flying a helicopter, uh, an Apache, and it had um, mini guns on each side and rockets. And you did, you did um, take control of it. And this is obviously in the campaign. And he was blowing up buildings, and it was very battlefield-like, I've got to say. So that's what I saw in the um, E3 demo. Looks very interesting. It's definitely something that you guys should wa watch. I'm sure it's on Machinima by now. Uh, so go to their channel and have a look. Um, right, I've got to mention a few things now about the open lobby highlights. A lot of people are a bit disappointed because I said I'd do a highlight video, but I can't. And um, the reason for that is because, as many of you know, I just made a transition from uh, a Windows PC to um, a Mac, and therefore I've got to get a lot of my old software, um, the Mac versions of them, which is it's a lot of money. I haven't quite got enough money to get all of these like programs again, so. I haven't got any editing software, all I've got is iMovie, um, but I don't want to spend an hour working in iMovie putting putting together the open lobby highlights when really it was very laggy um, due to so many people um, in one lobby and um, there weren't many that amazing clips, let's be honest, so I think what I'll do is we'll do another open lobby in a couple of weeks and I'll do 6v6s and shit like that, therefore it won't lag and uh, the clips will be better. And I've I just got to say sorry, really. I know I know a lot of you are looking forward to watching that, but I, I can't do it. It's, I can't do everything. So you, I'm sorry, but you have to cut me some slack on this one. I can't really do that. Um, also, I want to I wanna go through about my channel. I'll just move my notes out of the way because I've, I've gone through them. For those of you who know, don't know, um, I do actually make notes for my commentary, so... Um, I guess that's probably why they're a bit more structured than most people's, but... Just in case you didn't know, yeah, I do make notes most of the time. But anyway, back to what I was saying about the channel. Um, these type of videos is generally what I do, isn't it? It's, it's gameplay along with commentaries, and they're roughly six to ten minutes long. Uh, that, that's what I normally do, but I'm thinking of changing this around, because now that um, I've got my new software that goes with the HTTP VR, I'm able to record even without recording, if you know what I mean. If I've got the HTTP VR, up and running while I'm playing, which it has to be anyway, you can rewind what you've been playing without recording. So therefore, say if I get an epic knife throw across the map, uh, I can just rewind it without having to capture and record uh, as I rewind or go forward and therefore capture little parts of the game. So I don't have to record the whole game, then I don't have to render it and find the bits that I want to make mini, like, mini montages. So that is really beneficial for me. So I can I'm able to make you know like fail videos, um, mini series where um, I'll be putting loads of bloopers in and MLG Pro moments. I've actually just made the first one, which I'll be uploading soon. It's full of commando lunges and you know just retarded stuff that you see every single game in Modern Warfare 2. So what I want to say basically, guys, is I'm going to cut down on the gameplay commentaries. I'm going to do maybe three or four a week maybe two or three, I don't know, and um, and then I'll put loads of mini videos in between because 
Those have gone down really well. Everyone says that Semtex fail video was really good. They really like like those videos. So I'll be doing more of them. Uh, it doesn't mean I'll be uploading less or more. I'll be doing roughly the same. Every one to three days I'll upload a video. And um, I know that's kind of random one to three, but it depends how long the video is. If it's a 10 minute video, I'll probably upload that and then wait another day or two to upload again because I want it to get the views. Some people actually do see that it's 10 minutes longer, I don't, I don't want to watch it for 10 minutes, so I've got to find that balance, if you know what I mean. So I think what I'll do is I'll be doing these mini videos that are a minute to three minutes long every day or so, and then I'll upload a commentary every two or three days, so you guys get the balance and you get what you like, and when you like. And what I might be doing is introducing the um, the new module that YouTube put in, uh, where you can vote on what video goes up next and stuff like that. So when I um, when I put that on my channel, I'll, get, I'll make a video and let you guys know. And you can go into it and type you know, what video you want to see and shit like that. So I think that would be good fun. Therefore you can just say, oh I don't want to watch a commentary today, let's have a fail. Because um, <clears throat> I'm constantly recording, I mean, I'm literally as I'm doing this con uh, commentary 10 minutes ago, I got this amazing fail, I tell you, amazing fail. So you, you guys are going to see that soon. Um, actually, I've got an example of why I can do this now and I couldn't do it before. The other week when I started thinking about doing a fail series, while I had my old computer, I was playing a match where I completely forgot to capture, and the best fail I think I've ever seen in Modern Warfare 2 happened to me. And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah I can upload this, but no didn't record it and it was when this guy, it was in Favela, a guy jumped off the roof, landed on a car and it killed him and me and I spawned right next to the car. Now it might not sound like a big fail as I explain it but when you see it, it's the funniest thing you'll ever see and I was just so frustrated, I actually rage quit and I was like fuck's sake, I'm just recording, I could have recorded the best fail I'll ever see and um, I couldn't put it on, the, on YouTube but now I've got this new software which is called ITV3 I can, you know, I could have finished that match, left the lobby and just rewound what it technically recorded but didn't record, if you know what I mean. It's quite a hard thing to explain, but basically it just means I can go back into games and get mini clips. So you guys will be seeing a lot of fails and a lot of wins. A lot of commentators like to do this series where they have a win and a fail in the same clip, so I can do that. I've already made one of those videos, but people said they wanted the clips to be in the same game, which I understand, it's fair enough. I made the mistake by doing a um, Call of Duty and a FIFA 10 win and fail, so um, I'll be probably doing that. And with regards to Battlefield invites and Red Dead Redemption invites, I get a lot of them. I, people really want me to play with them. And um, I understand you want me to play, play with you on those games, but I'm just not very fond of Battlefield at the moment. And, you know, I wouldn't force you to play a game that you didn't want just for the sake of it, so. Uh, if you invite me to Battlefield, I most likely won't join because I just don't like that game anymore. Oh, and there was an expan expansion pack uh, demo at E3, and I've got to say, it looked pretty epic, so maybe that will get me back into it. But other than that, guys, thank you for watching this commentary of mine, and um, I'm sure I'll see you online soon on maybe um, a bit of Red Dead, maybe a bit of Modern Warfare 2. Um, but yeah, thanks again, and I'll catch you on the next one. I'll be um, uploading the mini fail tomorrow.